right, hello everyone and welcome to the EBTV broadcast of East Brunswick High School Boys Soccer versus the Zebras of New Brunswick here at J. Doyle Field on the campus of our East Brunswick High School. And what we have before us is another Red Division game between two teams that are evenly matched. Both teams started off with struggles, came into the last three, four games for both sides with both teams going three and one, Woodbury, I mean, uh, New Brunswick going four and one. Common opponents being Monroe and uh, St. Joseph's, of which we tied, and New Brunswick beat St. Joseph. Came off a win just yesterday over Monroe. They've beaten Monroe. So that's why I'm saying it's an evenly matched game. But here we are about halfway through this, halfway through the season. The Bears are at... Um, I thought I had written it down. Hmm. In, in and around 500. It'll come up to me later, and then I'll be able to share it with you. And the same thing goes for the Zebras of New Brunswick. Um, talking with uh, Coach McKibben before the game, he has not seen them. He has not seen any videotape. He just knows the, the scores of the games that he's that that they've played with and the, the games that they've won and the games that they've lost. He shared with me the fact that there's a very similar style of play. And so we're going to see probably a lot of passing and an attack that sort of happens just when you do, you're not expecting it to happen. Seniors uh, I take that back. Players who are starting for the Bears are number two, Maxim Andreev. Number three, Ryan Berg. Number four, Aditya Jamhanantham. Number seven, Sam Negron. Number nine, Brandon Silveria. Number 10, no, excuse me, number 14, Alex Vasquez. Number six, Sean Kim. Number 15, Matthew Mercado. Number 20, Jeremy Wawa. Number 10, Ben Lyons. Number five, Andrew Lima. And number 19, Quentin Taha. Teha, excuse me. It's a nice almost summer-like evening for us. It was an 85-degree day today. So up here in the, on the turf field at East Brunswick High School, we're talking probably around 70, 72, 73 degrees. Very people are in their T-shirts. And uh, it, sh it, sh it should be an exciting game for both squads. And uh, we'll begin with, like I said, some passing around, just so that everybody can become familiar with one another. Zebras take the throw. A lot of talking that you, that I can hear from the field as uh, the zebras try to ha make something happen here, bundling up and uh, the crispness of the passing is just not working for them right yet. Balls out of bounds on the far sides. Bears will get the throw. Nice, nice throw of about 15, 20 yards. And defensive kick out of bounds for the Bears to continue the attack. Bears are lined up around the 18. Nice throw. 
See a head ball on that. Zebra defender. Ball rolls off. Max Andreev. Zebras get the get the toss. Nice touch by number eleven. Gives it up. See what happens here. No, I thought maybe we would be able to get a little run through there. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, the Bears played a game yesterday against the Red Division foe, Monroe, who at that time was still the number one ranked team in Middlesex County. Apparently, having lost to our Bears and having lost 4-1, to we can expect the Falcons of Monroe to be bounced from number one. And I'm not sure exactly where New Brunswick stands, but we have an idea of where we stand, where St. Joseph stands, and where uh, New Brunswick, relatively newcomer to the Red Division. Real nice throw in there on the far side. Nice touch. And our sweeper taking the the full foot onto that ball. We're getting back into play with a hit with a throw in. A couple of close ones there. The keeper's going to come out for that. Nice foot by our keeper. Equally nice head ball. Oop. We got a whistle on that, no. Play on for the, for the zebras. Games evenly evenly played and nice fast pace to the game so far. Zebras are trying to keep it on the turf to the best of their ability. Look for a shot here. Nope. Okay, long ball. Thought it was going to be saved. Was out of bounds, Zebras will have a throw in. And you can see on the far side of the field. Throw in for the Bears. Another throw in, a good gain of about 20 yards there. A little push and shove there. I'm sure they got a whistle there. That'll be a free kick for the for the zebras. Nice play across field. You know that young man with the. Young man, number 12 for the Zebras. Has, looks like he's wearing a, a pink cast. I guess if that cast is completely engulfed, it's legal. I'm sure he wouldn't be out there if he wasn't legal. Got a little four fullback line on the part of, oops, nice save by the keep. Very nice. And a shot. Nope. A couple of real nice plays by the Bears to prevent anything from happening. Take the shot, son. One touch, buddy. And a, a, a uh, corner kick.
I guess I'm wrong. We're seeing a goal kick being set up. Well, that was a close uh, series right there for the Zebras. And I was in the midst of talking about the uh, defensive alignment that uh, New Brunswick has set up, which they're going with four old school. Nice throw there. Keeper makes a save. That's his first one. And a real nice foot and a real nice head ball. That goes off the Bears, and Zebras will take it. Real nice foot there. Straight up on the uh, head ball. That's all you need to be doing, going straight up. Can't be diving into the opponent. New Brunswick throw in. And a shot. Nope. If it was, it was prevented. Got to give it up. There it is. I'm just hoping that the uh, Bears are not going to run out of steam because of the game that they played yesterday. Little touchy shovey and shirt pulley. I guess that goes with the, the territory. Out comes the uh, Zebra's keeper, and he's heading back. Zebra push right in front of us. Max Andreev going to take the kick. Direct kick. Sure, he can launch it halfway down the field. Our attack is positioning on the 18. Far side of the field, a couple of substitutes coming in. Number 21 and number eight. Still another Bears throw in as they move down about 10 yards. Samuel making that throw and it looked like a push there got away with see that from here a lot of nice passing on the part of the zebras keeper comes out makes the Makes the grab. A lot of hard running on these, these, these kids. Both teams are fast. See who's going to have the endurance to uh, last.
Zebras seem to be adjusting to this kick and run well. And we're going to see a free kick. And played again. I guess the referee wasn't ready. Nice powerful foot on that on that on that kick. Couple of good ideas on the part of the zebras just didn't pan out. And the Bears get the far, throw on the far side. going to be a shot here. Yes, there is. Keeper makes the save. Good defense played by that entire line. McKibben has a sweeper and a stopper lined up together. And on the outside, two additional so-called fullbacks allowing or maybe even disallowing the Zebras from making the attack within the confines of the, uh, the goal mouth. Bears maintain control with the throw right in front. No, I'm sorry. Zebras maintain the throw right in front of us. Got some substitutions on the far side of the field. And a nice touch there by that zebra attacker. Oh, here comes a cross. Head ball. Great. Good, good stop by the Bears. And a shot. Good idea. But the fade was off to the left, not off to the right. Bears get a goal kick. And so what's happening uh, with both of these squads as they begin to enter that it's true second half of the schedule is a real concentration on wins because of the seeding for the GMC tournament. And uh, outside of the Red Division, the, the only real powerhouse would be Colonia High School, of which the Bears defeated uh, three to two in a real exciting game. Uh, recently, so as the uh, as the games unfold, such as this, it becomes very important with regard to the win in terms of the seed for the tournament. And I'm not even talking about NJSIA state tournament. I'm talking just about our our local GMC. All right, everybody's lined up. You can see where the where the, where the zebras are, they're going to make a run to about the to about the six. Yes, there there it is, and a much nice head ball, stopping that from happening. Take it, no, he's taking making a run with it. That was a close one. I like the way that unfolded. Bears with the goal kick. We're 17, 16 and a half minutes into our period. 23 and change to go. Nice foot. Let's go, boys. Yeah. 
Nice throw. Nice play. Nice touch. And there's the New Brunswick keeper anticipating. Throw to the far side, as you can see. And off go the Zebras. Nice foot down that sideline. Ball ricochets off the legs of uh, one of our defenders. And uh, Zebras have a substitution and a throw in. It's going to be a touch here. Nope. Oop. And there's a shot all of a sudden in the, in, the, uh, in the situation in which everyone is sort of standing around. The ball is just sort of bouncing. And unbeknownst to all of us, there's a goal for the Zebras making the score one zip New Brunswick. Bears are going to have to rally here. Like I said, it's been a fast-paced game. And I'm hoping that it's not the Bears are tired because of the game yesterday with Monroe. Here's another ball driven into the 18-yard uh, line. We're seeing a push against the Bears. Zebras have the free kick. They've taken it already. There's going to be a shot on goal here. Nope, pushed it out. Number seven, number nine. Got a referee not in the position to make the judgment call. Bears thought the play was, was going to be out of bounds, and ref was nowhere to be found on this three-man system. Zebra keeper comes out, makes the push. Bears are going to have a throw-in down around the 10-yard line. I guess it was a a penalty instead of a, a throw in on the far side. Zebras have a free kick. And there's a nice ball who wants to go get it. Oh no, what's the whistle for? Okay. Guess we had a zebra push. Free kick for the Bears, our keeper's taking it. He'll put that at midfield, if not more. Another push. Bears get a free kick. See if we can make something happen here. The squad's aligned on about the 18. The head ball. We're going to get a Guess we're getting a free kick. 
Could not rightly see everything that was going on down there. That ball belongs on the turf. There it is. And we're back in, back in play. Nice play by the by Maxim. Here we go. Can he run this one? Nope. Keeper comes out. That keeper likes to come out. Might hope. Maybe on one of these one of these tries, we're going to zip it by him. Here we go. Nice foot, strong foot. Zebra throw. Uh, I'm sorry, bear throw. Shot. Good shot. Sails right of the uh, upper goal post. We can get a couple more of those. One is bound to go in. Zebras have the lead. Twenty-three in, seventeen to go. Pass, but no, very nice. Nice pass in the box. Equally, equally good Bears defense. going to have a zebra direct kick on a pushing violation. I mean, everybody on both, both teams have solid foots with regard to Putting there is a shot on the keep. Nice defense. Like I was saying, equally equally powerful feet. There's a there's a goal goal kick, but no, that'll be a corner for the zebras. See how they play this out. They have one defender in front of the keeper. It's a short touch. Here comes a, it's going to be a shot. A little wide to the right. Nonetheless, a really nice shot. A strong foot. And that's what I was saying before. A lot of strong feet out there. and play through uh, midfield. Yeah. 
Ball's out of bounds according to our, our linesman. Somebody's not ready. It's the head ref in the middle of the field, as you can see on your monitor. He's calling the shots with regard to when the play is resumed. Nice ball there. Bears, see if we can get something going here. Let it go. There you go. Pivot, kick, shot, keeper. Nice save. We need more of that, but that was nice. A lot of nice passing going on by the Zebras on the far side of the field. Number, number 20, Jeremy Wawa, very, very busy out there. Substitution. Matthew Mercado coming back in. Number 15. Bears throw. Zebras with some nice passing as we've as we made note of. Broken up by the Bears with a cross and a head ball. Anybody there? No. Sometimes the keeper goes to make that 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 save and it just bounces off his forearm or even shoulder. Referee by referee blows the whistle for a for a push. Hands were, were up on the back of the New Brunswick attacker. Referee is showing Zebras where to put the ball on it, like on the 20, 21 yard line. Here comes a direct kick. Nope, chip. And here we go. Okay, Bears. Offside. He got away with it. Now he called it. Number three, Nathan Lopez. That's number nine, Nathan. still see those clearly marked four defenders that the Bears are implementing to slow down, try and slow down the Zebra offense. There's a touch. Out of pushing and shoving, both sides. Ball's out of bounds. I think we're going to see a corner. Yes, we are. Substitutions on both sides are coming in.
Shot. No. Nope. Bears have a throw. Right in front of the goal mouth, but nothing. Defenders able to put their foots on it, so have a Bears throw by around the one, two yard line. Right by the right by the flag in the corner where the referee stands. No, it's a corner. Nice ball, and even a nicer head. And out of bounds for the bear throw in. Couple of nice touches, sends the ball on the far side of the field. And it's, it's tough to get it past those four defenders because of the speed in which they can, uh, at which they play the game. All four of our defenders. Probably the, uh, the biggest strength we have against this uh, quick New Brunswick squad. Ooh, play on. That's, uh, I like that. I don't want to see a penalty kick for nothing. We saw it. We could, we could all see it. Should get a real nice kick here down to around the 18. Yes, we did. Yes, we have it. Going to be played. We have a whistle for a push, direct kick just outside the box. Yep. So it's going to be a direct kick for the Bears. The ref's going to have to mark off 10 yards unless he's just instructing him to move back, move back, move back, move back. I guess that's what he's doing. Take a shot. Take the shot. No passing here. Good. A little much. Okay, good idea. Down one nothing. Got to get back into the game. Got to score that goal to tie it up so you're not pressing to get the goal to tie it up. We're down to just under five minutes in the period, so let's see what happens. See if the Bears can do something. Notice how the Zebras are sort of taking their time lining up the uh, goal kick. Here we go. Bears put some pressure on this. Nice firm kick across the field. Nice outside use of the foot to get that curve going to the right.
Referee motioned for a green kick. I mean, green throw, but it's a red throw. I mean, uh, the zebra throw. head ball. There's a pivot and a kick. Nope. Missed it. And there's a nice kick. Goalkeeper with the save. Put a nice foot on it, young man. And that is nice. A little push and shove. Get a direct kick for the Bears. At the two minute mark. Jeremy Wawa, I thought was going to take the kick. He's been all over the field. He needed a break on that one. Here we go, Bears. Get that left foot on it. Nice, kick, nice save by the keep. He's going to put it in play, see if the uh, attack can do something. Fifteen he had a shot. A couple of the couple of the zebras had shots. Minute thirty. Not a touch, and there it is. Pushy shovey, direct kick for the Bears. Got to bring it back ten yards. At the minute mark. See if we can get something going here, fellas. Another nice punt by the keep. head ball for the zebra throw. Nope. Miscommunication here on the part of the ref. The zebra throw. 16 seconds. Get a shot. Get a shot. And that's the whistle to end our first half with a well-played game by both the Zebras and the Bears. It's only a one-zip lead on the part of the uh, visitors from New Brunswick. We'll take a break and be back for the second half shortly. And welcome back, everyone, to tonight's Red Division contest between the visiting Zebras of New Brunswick and our East Brunswick High School Bears in a, uh, like I said, a Red Division contest. And it's it's always a battle in the Red Division, whether you're hooked up with Monroe or Old Bridge. It's a game. And uh, we, have a, we have a real good one here. It's in New Brunswick uh, scored on a, it's a one nothing game. And New Brunswick scored their goal on sort of like everybody sort of standing still, frozen in time. And next thing you know, there's a shot, and it's in the back of the net. And New Brunswick's up. New Brunswick is up uh, one zip. Both teams played extremely well. A lot of really nice passing, a lot of nice shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder stuff. 
no nonsense, no pushy shovey, just good high school, I mean, really good high school soccer. And uh, let's expect to see more of it. And maybe this time the uh, the Bears can, can put uh, the ball on the back of the net, get this game tied up so uh, it can be anyone's game thereafter. <clears throat> There's a shot on goal from, oh my goodness, 40 yards out. That was, that's powerful. Um, the entire defensive line that... Uh, Coach McKibben has has the has the has the foot to do that, and um, you can see that right here as the ball is being passed across the line. Nice strong foot there, and again, the the zebras are just as quick as the bears are quick. And therefore, it's making for an even game and a well-played and fast-paced game. Nope. Ball rolled rolled out of bounds. Defender really wasn't sure of which line he was playing off of. I have a couple of lines on the field there, on the side of the field. Cross it, shoot, got to shoot. Thank you. Nice save by the keeper. Nice shot to begin with. Nice save by the keeper. Came out of his came out of his hands for a moment. He was able to re grab it, and then that ball just slipped off his foot. The other thing about the game so far is if I had a statistician up here with me and we were able to put a, uh, a number on the shot or side, if we were to put a number on the head balls, I think we would uh, have a uh, record number of head balls this particular game so far or heading towards the, uh, the outcome of uh, that, that particular statistic. Just keep an eye on what I'm talking about as the half unfolds. I'm not sure exactly why um, Jeremy Wawa is coming out. I didn't see a card. Maybe he was injured. He got his, his foot twisted. He's walking over to uh, to talk with our trainer. And then uh, we'll see where that where that takes him. We have a New Brunswick on the attack. There should be a shot here. Nope. Still playing in her. And nope. I thought. I was going to say it's still a, still a beautiful evening out here. First couple of days, and I think I think it's October third. Vast majority of the parents who were here. Not sure what's going on with the timer. 
parents are, are in light jackets. They came probably in T-shirts. Uh, some of the some of the parents are in, are in uh, T-shirts still. Just get back to the field. I'm not sure what the referee wants. I think they're trying to touch the clock and uh, re put some time back on the clock. I'm not sure. I see a shot on goal. Number seven is taking it all the way. Yes, he did. Before I even said those words, he's taking it all the way. He did a diagonal across the field. Used the outside of his left foot, and the ball just curved into the back of the net, making that the second goal of this evening for the Zebras. It is now a 2 nothing score. Zebras on top of the Bears. Now we have to have to cheer on those Bears to get them back in this game. Hopefully they can get one shortly. A lot of nice touches on the part of the Bears. Zebras come in. Whistle in the box. I think that was, uh, yeah, he's, he's pulling out a card. I sort of don't see what's going on. He's carding the, uh, in the Brunswick attack uh, defender. And I guess we're, we're outside the penalty box. Right, so it's not a penalty kick. Referee's okay with the 10 yards that the three defenders are at. A lot of pushing and shoving, shoulder to shoulder. Uh, there's a shot. Nope. Wow, well, a lot of lot of activity there in that uh, in that goal mouth for a moment. A lot of kicking back and forth. Let's see what happens here. Got a whistle for a stoppage of the of the clock. The East Brunswick athlete. Seems to be, needs to be tended to. So at the 34 minute mark, maybe just a. Holding a, a rib cage, he may have, there, there was such a bundle of athletes just outside the goal mouth. He may have received a, an inadvertent kick, or maybe the ball ricocheted off his uh, stomach slash chest. But the uh, we're talking number three, Ryan Berg, but he seems to be walking fine, and uh, maybe he's like got the wind knocked out of him. Doesn't even want to take a ride in the uh, in the golf cart, which is uh, used by our training officers and health officers to uh, go to and fro uh, locations on campus. But should be okay. We're back in. We're back in play.
Nice ball. Nobody there, though. Hmm. Keeper makes a save, save way outside the box. Puts his foot on it, real nice punt. Brings it to 40 yard line, over the back. Gotta have to go up straight on the, uh, on the head ball. Can't go into the opponent. Attackers are sort of lining up on the 18, a nice touch. And the goalkeeper. New Brunswick keeper makes the save. Brunswick throw down near the goal line. Some New Brunswick substitutions, three of them in particular for some fresh legs. Let's see what kind of throw this uh, midfielder can do with the ball. A little pushing that goes with the territory, I guess. Another, another zebra throw in. Nope, I take that back. Direct kick. You can see the head referee motions for our defenders to back off 10 yards. Now they play the whistle. Sure, the uh, zebra's going to take a shot, and he does take a shot, and it's a nice shot, and an even nicer save by our keeper. Punt ball, which brings back to midfield. Out of bounds for a New Brunswick throw. That's nice, nice, nice New Brunswick passing here. Keeper. Nice. Nice foot. Brunswick again on the attack. Push to the outside and a save. Nice pass to midfield. Back. We're going to see a shot here. Ooh. Waiting for a whistle to stop the play. Substitutions, therefore, we have a stoppage. Looks like the New Brunswick coach looking for an, a, an interpretation from the referee. See the keeper has a goal kick. Outside the box it comes, and New Brunswick, I mean East Brunswick on the attack. Okay. 
Bears throw. Just trying to get that through pass. Here comes so one of our attackers can get in there. New Brunswick says no to that. Lions with the touch on the goal. Put it on the bring it back to the six. There it is, the shot. New Brunswick keeper with a nice save. About 14 minutes in, 23 to go. Bears down to zip in a well-played, evenly matched Red Division game so far this, this evening. Keeper's going to come out for that save, yep. Busy night for our keeper. Pushing, shoving, direct kick for the Bears. Put it at the 45 yard line. Put that ball again on the 18. A little bit, little bit too much on that one. Maybe not. The Brunswick head ball, another head ball. Cross. Nope, nobody there though. Good idea. These Brunswick defenders have to get back on that one. All ball on that. No, no, no whistle. Through ball. Keeper coming out. Oh. Almost there. It's almost. Attempted a cross, but it got crisscrossed with a uh, zebra's foot. Loft it. Get it up. Corner kick. You can see that play from your monitor. No, I take that back. Goal kick. Substitutes for the zebras. Again, a couple of fresh legs. Notice how the uh, zebras are sort of taking their time getting that ball back in play. No call on that one. A little pushy on that, I thought.
and I was commenting about the weather and the, and the crowd. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of family, a lot of friends. And that goes for the uh, other side of the field. A lot of New Brunswick uh, parents came out this evening. And I think a lot of it has to do with the weather. It's a perfect night to be out watching a real good high school soccer game. Here we go. Nothing. I heard a whistle. New Brunswick push. Got a direct kick with the Bears. Bears put it back in play as quickly as possible. Not that we're running out of time, but time is not on our side. 18 in, 22 to go. and run play. Our keeper comes out. Couldn't get a good foot on it. New Brunswick will take a, take a throw in. Substitutions. Substitutions on both sides of the field. Bears and Zebras. Most looked like a shot, but ricocheted off the back of the defender. Ball comes right back. Ooh. I think that's number 12 on the far side trying to make it alone. Kind of tough to do that in a Red Division game. Brian Sousa, yeah. Number 12. See a shot on goal. There it is. Just couldn't get a power shot on that. Nice foot. Nice bear's foot. Hear the the calling and the communication for the ball and the play of the ball. And I can hear it up here in the box, and I've got the headset on. But the, but the uh, also the cleverness and uh, and the style of passing. We're going to see a oh, it was an attack player ready to go. He shouted out for the ball, but. White ball on the throw in. And let's reverse that. Now it's a zebra throw in. More fresh legs for the zebras on the far side of the field. And the ball's back in play.
Here we go. Nope. Keeper with the with the with the foot. One time, cause a handball, but no. Shot. Take it. Comes a shot. Yep. And we here comes the shot, and there it is in the in the back of the net. A three-nothing. New Brunswick lead. Sort of see that one unfold right before your eyes if you put the put the put the uh, the play on reverse and watch it unfold again. Sort of called it from up here. Again, a hard-fought game. It's been a battle, nonstop. Great Red Division game. The Brunswick very impressed, impressive. And the New Brunswick has. They've gone from that two-man, two-man uh, line of defense to a four-man line of defense. Push so we have a direct kick for the zebras. See if they can put it as far as the 40-yard uh, line. Get their attack going again. And or Bears defensive attack going again. And we're gonna get a direct kick for the zebras. See everybody lined up on the 18, but nope, they didn't play that card. Nice strong ball there. Our keeper grabs it. We we'll put a punt on it. Sit back at midfield. Nice throw, nice chest ball, keeper. I guess you're calling a handball on it. Direct kick. Here we go, ball's back in play. Nice throw ball, nice touch there. I right, uh, Ryan Berg. Nice play for the keeper by the defenders. Nice ball up to midfield. Here we go. Keeper makes a slide and a kick. Ball goes out of bounds, gets back in the goal mouth. Bears with the throw. And our keeper sends it back to the 40-yard line. Zebra throwing. I guess the Head referee wasn't ready. I'm gonna do it again.
I think it was accidental arm. Sam Negron just happened to play the ball and then ran into the New Brunswick uh, midfielder. I'm glad to see he got up. They, they just collided. That's what happened there. And he's okay. I guess the ref saw it a little, little more aggressive than what we saw and threw a full to card. Bends the Sam Negron to the bench for a bit. And we're, we're going to get the play back, get the uh, game back in play. can do down there. And a zebra throw in. And across. Ball's loose. Keeper making the save. Got it out. Nice play. That was close. Shot on goal. And it sails high wide over the Bears' goal. Keeper puts it back in play. And the attack. Nice, nice, nice. Before that shot was even taken, there was a push on the on the zebras. Bears know that time is not on their side, so they have to move a little bit quicker to uh, make the play. So we have a zebra goal kick. Oh, I guess he stopped it before it went over the goal line. Nice head ball. Put that ball back in play. Here come the Zebras. Keeper. Nope. Shot on goal, just a little too high. Thank you. That was close, but uh, no cigar. The receivers got substitutions on the field for the Bears and Zebras. Again, that nice crisp passing, especially the little balls that are being sent back to the defender. And then we're going to send it all the way back to the keeper. Really nice. And a strong foot puts it right back at midfield. Keeper. I mean, uh, here we go. A little kick and run action going on now. And the beginning of uh, a desperate attempt to. Uh, Get goal, nice cross kick, and even nicer head ball. Contact made on the keeper, but it was shoulder to shoulder, so the ref let that go. Here we go. Nice soft touches. Putting that ball in and around the 18. Keeper makes the save. Keeper takes his time. 
I'd be doing the same. Nice foot. Bears remain possession with that throw. See the, see the move on the far side. Strong kick. Three consecutive head balls, nice and well played. Send it. Ball, no. Referee calls it a calls it a trip. Nice foot. Keeper. Got it. That was a nice shot. Real nice shot. Down under that 10 minute mark. They can get one. I would just create an emotional release on the part of the Bears to get that second and third. That's how they did it against Colonia in their victory. Minute and 12, so they scored. And then with six seconds left, they scored. So it can be done. The Brunswick has played one heck of a game. So have the Bears. We'll see what happens in these last uh, seven minutes. Zebra throw. Zebra substitution. Bear substitution. See if we can uh, get the attack going and get a goal. Yeah, I heard someone say, what was that? That was like the fourth foul illegal throw I've seen all night. Nice pass. Shot. No. There's a shot. Bounced off the back of the goal net and be a goal kick for the Bears. Hmm. 
Nice save. Oh, beautiful save. Power shot. Here we go. Hmm. Not a nice footwork there in that little play. But it's a Bears throw. We're running out of time here, fellas. Reverse it and give the throw to the Zebras. Nice passing on the part of the Zebras, and a shot is coming here. Yes, into the back of the net. That'll make it four. You can see it coming from up top here. You can see it coming. Just like most goals, you can see it coming. And with uh, two minutes, just, uh, just under three minutes left in the, in the contest, that uh, I think solidified the... Uh, The zebra victory. Still with the crisp passing, the Zebras, to uh, just wind this clock down. And that's what makes that, uh, that's what makes their program successful this year. And quite a few outstanding players. Play the game well. Got to throw on the far side. And I think a little bit of uh, the fact that we had the, uh, the game against Monroe sort of our guys ran out of steam a little bit in the beginning of the game. It was a fast-paced game, of which it still is for New Brunswick, and that's why they're dominating here for the past sort of 18 minutes. And we're just, we just turned into under a minute.
Zebra throw in on the far side onto the light post. Make a shot on goal, you're going to run out of the stand. And there's the whistle. Who Call the end of the game. In a well played game. One nothing at half. Started off well in the second half, but uh, three goals in succession of 20 some, 22 minutes uh, caused the game to be a little bit out of reach for the Bears this evening. However, they will see New Brunswick again in a Red Division game to play all of your opponents twice. And hopefully next time they see each other, they'll be able to uh, come out victorious. Here you see the traditional handshakes between both teams, signifying the end of the game. And congratulations to a well-played game on both sides of the pitch. So big thank you goes out to our East Brunswick TV production team that came out this evening to do this for us. Mr. Noppenberger, you were missed. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.